What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Jacksonville metropolitan area. We're in Atlantic Beach. And we're going to take Atlantic all the way across Jacksonville from one end to the other, guys. We're going to start our tour here along the beach. Right behind us is the water. And we're going to give you a tour of what it's like driving from the water and the beach, where we are now, all the way into the city of Jacksonville. One of my favorite cities in the entire United States is Jacksonville. This city is incredible. I love being here, and this city's made me a lot of freaking money. Every time we come here to Jacksonville, our videos do a spectaculation. I mean, they do great. Uh, we are facing the sun, even though the temperature is only in the 70s. Uh, it's not a warm, hot day, but the fact that the camera's underneath the sun means that every once in a while you're going to hear a blast of cold air we got to keep our windshield um you'll hear that every once in a while we really got to keep our windshield um cool because we're facing the sun during this drive <coughs> it is a winter day beautiful beautiful day to be in florida and jacksonville has done really really well for our channel every time we come to jacksonville the views are incredible the city never fails us. It just amazes me how well the Jacksonville videos do. And I feel like I should be living here at this point because every time we come to the city, like it beats Miami, like it beats Tampa, it beats Orlando. Like if we come to this city and we do videos here, it's going to do really, really well. Now, I hope the video doesn't go silent. We're having a lot of not notifications on social media. And sometimes when we get those notifications, for some reason, iPhone, I don't know what the crap is wrong with these iPhones, but it happens to be that um, on more than one occasion, we've had problems with the audio going bad, live streams going blank. It seems like these iPhones have not perfected the, uh, the notion that when you are recording, when you're using the camera, I don't care about a YouTube notification for a comment. I don't care about what's going on in my Facebook account. When I'm on camera, it needs to be like priority, like nothing should interfere with it. And it seems like it really struggles to understand that notion of these iPhones. And I have even called iPhone and complained about it, but it seems like they had some call center or something. Go, if you're gonna go, go, go. Go, 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 go. We gave you an opportunity to go, women. Take advantage of opportunities in life. They don't come around twice. It is a beautiful day. Temperature in the 70s, 60, just dropped down to 69. Nice, cool day. It won't get any better than this. Palm trees, I'm blue. Oh, I can't do it, there's a camera. How about this, this flirt through this, that's all this camera's like. Yeah, they don't give me a ticket. It's all right, we're not in a rush. I'm gonna take my sweater off because it's actually gotten pretty, it's gotten pretty hot throughout the day. It's already like, it started off kind of cool, but it's starting to warm up. It's definitely too it's too cold to have a sweater on. Too hot to have a sweater on. You know what I was saying. Lots of electric vehicles. These things are popping up everywhere. Ah la 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 long. I love how they're bringing back a lot of the lyrics from old songs from back in the day. The only problem is how bad these new artists suck. I can't stand these new ones, these Cardi B's and these Carol G's and, and these bad bunnies. Like They're so like defiled, like I can't even listen to the radio. I would never listen to it like out of my own personal desire, but it's on the radio and I absolutely, it's just like, I can't stand it. I don't like any of them people. If you like them, I don't know, you can go ahead and try to explain why you like them people. I can't stand none of that garbage. It's just, to me, it's garbage. And for somebody who grew up listening to Yup in my white tee to think, or, or what was the other one? Uh, uh, the, the Stanky Legs and Supermans. And for somebody whose generation grew up on Soldier Boy, Crank That, to think your music sucks, you got a problem. Because we grew up on Yup in my YT. If we who grew up on that garbage think your music is garbage, 
You got some problems. You got to work on, buddy. Ah la 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 li long long long. Ah la 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 la. Ah la 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 li long long long. Ah la 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 la. Ah la 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 li long long. That was music, you know what I mean? There was a time when you had Ja Rules, you had 50 Cents, you had Pat Pooses, he sucks now. <laughs> you had something to offer the world. While the music of my era wasn't the greatest, I mean, crap, there was a song called Stinky Leg in My Generation, and Superman, and uh, there's one more that hasn't count. Uh, oh, uh, Pop Lock and Drop It, and there's one more that's even more hideous. I just can't remember what it was now, you know? Uh, yeah, you know, if we grew up on that garbage and we think your music's garbage, then there's something wrong with your generation. Not that there aren't artists in this generation that are good, because there are, but uh, there's a few that I just can't swallow. You know what I mean? There's a few of these artists that are just like, and it's nothing new. Like every, every new generation takes it the last generation, you know, recent generation music sucks. You know, like a lot of uh, like the reggaeton. They said reggaeton when like reggaeton when it came out, all the people from the you know salsa generation and merengue and all them, they're like, oh reggaeton, that's garbage. It's never gonna last. It's gonna get phased out. So. I heard, I heard that a lot. When I was growing up, I heard that reggaeton was going to get phased out. Like, that would never be a thing. Like, all the other generations before us, like, reggaeton, oh, that's going to last a few years, and you'll never hear it again. That's garbage. Something better will come along. And here we are, what, 20 years later, and it's still relevant, and it's actually become mainstream to where, like, if you ever heard the song Shape of You by Ed, Ed Sheridan, well, actually, reggaeton is to the point where it's not even America anymore. It's like Europe and Africa. Their music has an embo in it now. So it's almost like it became... And let's not forget where it all originated. Jamaica. Jamaica is the cradle of Caribbean music. Not like every island doesn't have its own thing. Jamaica, Cuba, Puerto Rico, Trinidad, Tobago, even the small islands like Grenada have their own music. Bahamas, even like the tiniest of islands in the Caribbean have their own music. Haiti has its own music. Dominican Republic has its own music. Every island in the Caribbean has its own music. And forms of those musics Jamaica's reggae being the biggest kind of umbrella for those types of music have spread through the entire world well now today the entire world listens to music that in some way or another originates from the Caribbean islands um, if I was just listening to a song the artist is this is from Africa it's a little island out by Africa somewhere between India and I, I don't know it's just an island somewhere in Africa or India and uh, they speak English can't remember the name of the island but the artist is called Ma Madom Magdom they speak English it's not exactly the English you'd speak in the United States it's more like it's a different it's, it's, there's English there's different types of English throughout the world they speak English though well, this artist is called My Dong, and this song is called My Baby. And uh, it's a very slow type of music, but it's also like Caribbean sounding. Because, you know, there's islands like the Canary Islands, uh, the Maldives. There's a bunch of islands like in parts of the world that they're islands. So they have to take from somewhere else their music. So a lot of islands throughout the whole world from the Pacific Islands, I don't know what's going on there in the Pacific Islands, but like in Africa, they've taken up Jamaican music and just said this, they ran with it because they, what else are they got? You're well, living on a freaking island, in, you know, between India and Africa or something like that. And you're, you're going to have to take up some type of music or culture. You have to have this old lady's running like the most bomb 
truck ever. I thought it was like a young guy in his 20s. No, it's like his mom is driving that truck. It's, it's sweet. Nice. I used to have a truck just like that. Same color and everything. 2021. Bought a brand spanking new cash money. $46,000 out the door. I put 8,000 miles on that thing. Took it over to Michigan. Brought it back. 8,000 miles in like a month or two. But I took it back to the dealership because it had a lot of problems. It seems like... It's just don't make crap the way they used to, bro. So I went back and bought an older Chevy, which is more reliable. But man, the gas mileage on that thing is so bad. Nothing's ever perfect. You know, because the new one, despite all the little issues it was having, did have good gas mileage. But I drove it. I had it. I lived there, bro. I drove it all the way to Michigan. What freaking thing, you know? Buy a brand new spanking, brand new car, zero miles, pay for it cash. Ain't worried about a car payment. Just sign there, transfer the money, boom, drive it off a lot. Zero miles, $46,000. And then two months later, I'm putting it in for $38,000. I lost 8000 on that. I lost 4000 oh, It was really 42000 plus taxes take a bunch of money. But $4,000 on sale, $8,000 in total. I still put $8,000. 8,000 miles on a brand new truck. Lost a dollar a mile, basically, is what I paid for it. <laughs> Life is, is to be done with when you just gotta do something now i got a newer truck older truck i mean newer to me me everything's new because i'm broke <laughs> kind of i don't know love jackson man but this is always my dome i just want to call my baby and it's just a really uh, kind of caribbean sounding song a little bit of reggae in there a little bit of dance hall i don't know how to describe it but it's um very neat song it's a nice one and uh the video is really nice because you know it's not like a vulgar type of music video it's more like a kind of like mellow very smooth and slow for being reggae and being modern music of the day i mean <laughs> stefano bolero but jamaica music is influenced a lot of music and today when you hear a lot of um, now they're even playing reggaeton on english stations like you listen to uh, r&b stations in all florida i don't know what's going on in other states but if you listen to r&b stations and rap stations in florida miami orlando Jacksonville. i've been listening to spanish music and i'm thinking it's a spanish station and when they get to the commercial break oh you listen to 105 the beat or whatever Raps, you know, rap and hip hop or whatever they call it. I don't know how, I don't know how I identify their stations, but it's an American station, but they're playing Spanish music. Very common here in Florida. So in Florida, the the, the Latin music and the Latin culture has kind of become mainstream in Florida. And I'm saying Florida's amazing. Jacksonville, I gotta explore Jacksonville more. I was just in Orlando, and you just can't. I mean. There's a lot of new stuff going in. Like, if you look over there, it's all new stuff right there. That's all new buildings. But, bro, I was just in Orlando. So, I mean, it's hard. Very hard. It's very hard to find Jacksonville impressive when you were just in Orlando. It's the vibes. It's the slower speed of life, less traffic that makes it more about Jacksonville attractive. But after being in Orlando, yes, you know, day before and yesterday, we spent three or four days in Orlando. After three or four days in Orlando, bro, like they're building a lot of stuff. Like right there's new going right there. They're building a lot. But after being in Orlando, everything's brand new. Everything's like 20 stories high and shiny and glittery. And you, know, you come back here, and uh, it's not exactly as glamorous and glitzy as, as, as you know Orlando. They're building a lot here, though. They're building a lot. But, you know, here it's kind of like this car in front of us. Convertible with the top down, no rush, no traffic, more chill, no toll roads, you know, less attractions, less tourists, more locals. So Jacksonville has more of a hometown feel, I guess. More relaxed, laid back hometown feel where, you know, Orlando is just overwhelming at times. You know. But, yeah, you know, that's Florida, bro. Top down, blast some music. That's how we do it in Florida. Florida is a very, um, very cool state, man. 
and Jackson was growing and, 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 and you know uh, now that we're here talking about Jacksonville 28% decrease in shootings and murders or something like that 20 to 28% decrease in shootings and murders in the last year very much a good sign but then again I bet 28% of people have had to move out of Jacksonville because they can't afford it anymore so it's not like the city's getting better as per the residents it's getting better as per people that move out because they can't afford it anymore and then people that move in are just a little bit less likely to kill you so um, it's going to take a few years but if you're from Jacksonville in one of my last Jacksonville videos I mentioned that Jacksonville was affordable and I, I saw a few comments where people were laughing at me, like, oh, how do you think Jacksonville was affordable, man? Uh, I pay $1,000 in rent. I'm like, you have no idea. If you're from Jacksonville and you think Jacksonville is not affordable, you don't know what not affordable is. Miami, Naples, West Palm Beach, Sarasota. That's not affordable. This is increasing. This is getting more expensive this is on the come up but it's not expensive yet uh, it may be expensive for what you're used to but welcome to the real world they're going to make life impossible for working class people so if you're from Jacksonville you think it's expensive this is a walk in the park I wish I had ended up here in Jacksonville with these prices versus what the crap I'm doing in South Florida right now if you think this is uh, complicated here. You ain't got no idea what complicated really is. Is it more expensive than it was here five years ago? Yes. Is it going up? A lot. But it's not expensive yet. If, if you think Jackson was expensive, then you haven't been across America. New York City is expensive. New Jersey is expensive. South Florida is expensive. This is just now on the come up. And believe me, Jacksonville is going to get expensive. Jacksonville is going to get Miami expensive. Jacksonville is going to get Naples expensive. It's going to happen because now the people that were moving to Naples, they can't get in anymore. People that were moving to West Palm Beach, they can't get in anymore. So what do you think they're going to look to next? Orlando's growing a lot. But Jacksonville has something that Orlando doesn't. You know what that is? Beaches. So, you can expect Jacksonville to grow. You're going to have people from South Florida continue to move here, which means that Orlando is going to become Miami. I mean, uh, Jacksonville is going to become Miami. Jacksonville is going to be 25. Like, look at that, Jack. Every time you come through, through here, do they have the lift kits? Is that why they're, they have a truck and a lift kit there? Because they, they look, oh, they, used cars, and they got a nice Chevy. I gotta check that out on the way back. It's on Aniston. No, what are you screaming at me? That guy was like literally screaming at me. That guy's like literally screaming at passing cars. Left out or something. Who knows? Loud, because I could hear him inside the car. I didn't go check it out. I saw a nice little Chevy truck. I'm a sucker for Chevys. I'm about to get rid of my. Uh, I bought a truck, $30,000. First, I bought one like the ones that are in front of us, a black one of these things. And that's what I lost $8,000 on. I bought it and I had fun with it, but I realized that the long-term reliability of this thing wasn't gonna happen. So I was like, all right, whatever. Got rid of it. I realized it would turn to a money pit. Now I got a Yukon. I've always had the Yukon, which is like the one right there, the white one, but mine is like black or blue, which is dark color. But what I want to eventually do, I bought this uh, 2500 it wasn't 30000 it was like twenty six or 27000 But when I'm they put the tags, taxes, da 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 out the door price. When I talk about cars, I talk about out the door price, because um, you know, like that truck was like 26, but time to put the tags, taxes, and fees. Da, 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 da. There is a Yukon right there. That's like the one I got now. That's, one, like, that's like the one we're in right now. But then I bought this uh, 2012 2500, $30,000 because it's only got 50,000 miles. It's immaculate. 
But that is going to go away. That's going to go away because the gas mileage is so bad that I can't drive it. And I've had 6.0s before, so I figured, oh, this won't be any different than my other 6. No, it's a lot different. It's, it's a freaking gas mileage. And when you hook up a trailer behind it, you're getting 7 miles per gallon. Which is fine if I was getting a lot of work, but my junk removal business in Naples, I'm going to quit on that and just do full-time YouTube. What is this, a COVID testing site? Look at that line, bro. Is that what it is? Free COVID testing. i got to bring Katie here later. I'll bring her here later. She needs it. The line's pretty good. But it should move pretty quickly. Um, we've got her. She's going to get tested later for sure. I'm going to get her tested later. And she's even up for getting out of the hotel room. I got her locked up in the hotel room. She's not doing well. But all our other tests, we'll take we'll do the COVID test. And this will be the last time I do this. I mean I'm not gonna keep doing it. This is ridiculous. Because it's pointless. I get a chance I'll get her tested today. And if she comes up negative, then that's what's been happening here. A lot of people are coming up negative despite the fact that everybody around them is positive, so you think they got it. So this is the Arlington Mall, which is called Regency. Regency Square, it's kind of vacant and empty. I don't know what's gonna happen there. Um, I think the, oh yeah, Cat Williams made a joke about this mall and one of the skits about Jacksonville. So this will take us, we're gonna stay on Arlington Expressway, I guess it's gonna turn it into. Um, I'll listen to this later. Um, I can't listen to this right now. Message. I wonder if I could read it back to you. I'm recording, so I'll have to wait until I'm not recording. And somebody I'm going to interview for my other YouTube channel. The Pigeon Racing Club is what it used to, That's what the new name for it. It's called the Racing Pigeon Club. It's about pigeon racing. Um, that channel, the videos are in Spanish or sometimes they're in English. Depends on what I'm interviewing. That channel is half Spanish, half English. stay on this road the whole time and i told myself i will not get distracted <laughs> we're gonna stay on this road we're not gonna is this bro look at these cars here you got a box chevy you got a, a caprice and are they fixing them or are they selling them i don't know what they're doing i'm a sucker for stuff like this bro that's what i'm talking about bro bro oh my well are they fixing them or is that a car to be here what's going on here they used to own, oh, I guess they do wheels. They used to own, bro. That's the real Florida. That's a that's a Caprice. We call that a dunk. And you can see it squatted in the back. And they've been doing that here forever. What is it? Least to own on all. Oh snap! You got a squatted truck in the back. You got squat right there. You got messenger audio. All right, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give you guys a second. I'm gonna leave you guys for one second alone. I gotta take care of this phone call. Que no cae de mano, bro, eh? Aquí, bro, aquí estamos ya a zumbir. Ok, tú estás trabajando hoy, hasta que hora, más o menos? Ok, so. De... Ok, perfecto. Tú estás, tú estás en Arlington, ¿no? Mándame tu, tu número, yo te lo, yo te marco atrás. Dame, mire, yo estoy en Arlington, yo estoy en Arlington ahora, ¿ok? Yo tengo que entrar allá a Zumbil a hacer unas cositas y cuando salga para allá para las cuatro, ¿está bien? Ok, ok, okay. mándame tu, tu, tu celular y cuando acabe aquí yo te marco. Dale, all right. So yeah, I got to interview somebody from my other YouTube channel. So that's a squat. All right, that's a stance right there. That right there is called uh, imports. And then you got your Caprices and Donks. You got your box Chevys over there. So they got all types of car culture up in this thing, bro. What do they do here? Do they, do they sell these cars? Do they lease them? Lifting alignment suspect. Oh, custom wheels. All right, man. And then you got, of course, your, um, you got your, uh, number. 
All right, so what I'm gonna do, you guys, I gotta handle this phone call in private. I can't, you know. Um, but I guess they do alignments and stuff, suspension. That's cool, bro. It's all good, bro. I'm good. I'm good, bro. I'm good. Bro. I'm good. But yeah, I couldn't help noticing this place. I'll check this place out. They do suspensions, alignments. They got low riders up in there. Bro, that's pimping. Let's get up out here. I'll stop by later. Um, lowering alignments. They do all types of suspension work like that. Let me see if I can stop somewhere. He's gonna send me his number. But uh, that's an interview for my other YouTube channel. Um, which is, that was the first YouTube channel that I ever started. And I show, I don't upload to it a lot, but now they're starting to come up. Uh, they're starting to, I, I told them on that channel, like, I'm not gonna chase people. If they want interviews, they gotta invite me. So this guy invited me, so. Um, yeah. But I gotta do my videos. Um, oh, crap. What did I just get on? I was supposed to go all the way to, there it is, Jacksonville. So I gotta, um, before I can, he wants me to go over there right now, but I got it. Anyways, that was the first YouTube channel that I ever started. And even though I'm not like into that channel anymore, like I am into this one, I still, um, I still upload to that channel whenever I can. Uh, simply because I feel like it deserves it. You know, it was my first YouTube channel. It's where I first got started on YouTube. So I'm not gonna let it sit there with 50,000 subscribers. And not pay attention to it anymore because another channel is no better. So he's gonna send me his number. And then I'll, I'll call him. Cool people, man. I, um, I did uh, that channel was what got me started on YouTube. So even though it's not like it's making me as much money as this channel, or actually it's making me money, but it's not making me a lot of money. So like, I'm following the money and sticking with this channel. But it's you know, I have 50,000 people subscribed to that channel. And they're the ones who got me started on YouTube, so it's only right that, you know, if somebody invites me, that I take the interview and do it, you know what I mean? But I'm not going to, like, chase them, because when I first started that channel, I had to chase people and convince them to give me the interviews. That's not going to happen anymore. So, I see businesses I like, like, this place does alignments, and they do, like, you know, lift kits and all that. The other business is so nice, really cool. I like Jacksonville. It's got good businesses. Is this for everybody? This is like for the working class person. This isn't like for, you know, this isn't a city that's like Orlando where it's fancy and, you know. But there are some pretty places in Jacksonville and I'm gonna show you guys out in this video. Because every time I do Jacksonville videos, the comments are always the same. Not only on my channel, if you listen to Briggs, he'll tell you the same thing. If you listen to Nick Johnson, he'll tell you the same thing. All of us YouTubers who do this, I think there's one called Geography King. He's a little bit smaller of a channel, I think, I'm not sure. I don't watch him as much. Maybe he's not too much. I don't watch him as much. But anyways, what I'm trying to tell you is ah! pothole. <coughs> Let me turn on the uh, there for a minute to make sure we pull out. Just one second. There's a skyline. We're gonna be in downtown in a minute, y'all. of why you always show the bad side bro we have shown the good side of Jacksonville so many times it's not even funny and we're gonna continue to show the good side but we're also gonna do the hoods and I'll be honest when I do the hoods I get about 10 times more views than the nice side so what incentive is there for me not to do hood videos here when that's what the audience wants you heard me you heard me did you hear what I'm saying? This is one thing that I love, yet am extremely scared of when it comes to Jacksonville, these bridges. I love it because it's so cool, but it terrifies the life out of me on these tall Jacksonville bridges. And there's a bunch of them crossing the St. John's River. These bridges scare the crap out of me. Moment of silence, let's just enjoy this. Beautiful. Scared. 
scary. Stadium right over there with their colorful seats. We're going straight into that. What an amazing city, man. I can see downtown Jacksonville getting a few big new sky rises, you know. Uh, can't complain, man. This is awesome. I think he's texting me his cell phone over here. Mándame el número de tu celular. That didn't work out the way I thought it would. Cell phone number, please. <laughs> the real mana, 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 mana salon. <laughs> oh man, I love this, bro. So nice, we're getting an interview for the other YouTube channel. Bro, I get nothing but love in the city. Like from interviewing people from my other YouTube channel. We already interviewed somebody in Jacksonville last time we were here for the art channel. Our last video for that channel was in Jacksonville. Bro, I love the love I get. All my my last hood drive around here in Jacksonville that I did was uh, the Road Street to Jacksonville. Got sixty thousand views in a month. The other video that I did was the same audio recording. Mi hermano, ahora estoy en Jacksonville. Tengo que hacer unos videitos aquí para mi otro canal. Nada más cabe hacer estos videos en Jacksonville. Yo te amo y te dejo saber. Y, y hoy mismo lo hacemos, ¿ok? Nada más cabe aquí te dejo saber. We're in downtown Jacksonville now, guys. And so, you know, 30 minutes ago, less than 30 minutes because we're messing around, driving around like idiots, driving slow and pulling the parking lot. So, within th less than 30 minutes, you can go from the beaches on to downtown Jacksonville. Now, here in downtown Jacksonville, um, we have a lot going on. Downtown over here, which isn't all that impressive. It, it's really like kind of a dead downtown. It's not a, it's not popping, man. It's not popping, man. So we're gonna drive clear to downtown. My goal in this video is to drive from one end of, from the, you know, from there to here, from the beaches to downtown. And then it stinks here. What the crap smells so bad? And then uh, end up in the hood. So we're gonna go like from one end to the other, show you like the whole thing. Okay. Okay. So we got the address. Awesome. And that's you know that's love right there from the city. And like I said, for a video of mine, Jacksonville has been the most successful. Like this video I did a month ago, sixty thousand views. And uh, my top ten videos always they dominate the list when it comes to drive arounds Jacksonville has two of my most popular videos and then Tampa hood videos was the next one so this has been back to back the most successful place we've ever done videos at all and we go into 25 states in the last three months and we've done over a thousand cities but Jacksonville ain't nothing like Jacksonville throw up some Jacksonville videos they're getting views they're getting a lot of views people really like Jacksonville it's gonna grow and unfortunately that the fact that people love the city is going to change the city and for the worse for some but also for the better because let's be real there's a lot of like you know there's too much crime in Jacksonville and you know that's that's gotta that's gotta go down like Miami did it Miami's still a fun, hip, incredible city. More expensive, but there's less crime. Like you can actually, we go to Miami at 2 in the morning and hang out, bro. I don't know if I want to hang out in Jacksonville at 2 in the morning. You know what I'm saying? So, um, uh, there's some weird stuff going on over there. The hood, though. I saw something so hood, I was, I was impressed by it. I was like, man. Oh, we gotta do videos over there 
two. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, he's he's in the he's perfect. It's, we're gonna have to address, and it's in one of the areas I have to work in today. So perfect. <laughs> one thing lines up with the other. I gotta finish on this side of, of Jacksonville first. Uploads have been going kind of slow. Let me see if now that we're in downtown, this video wants to fly a little quicker. Uh, these 4K videos, man, you guys like them, but it's been, I would say, challenging. What street is this, Myrtle? This looks hood out here. Hood, dog. Lumber, 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 lumber. He wants me to go over there right now. He's excited. Uh, oh, that's hood. Hold on, dog. Oh, I love the hood. But this is the most hood looking place I've ever seen in my whole life. I like hoods. This is hood out here. I'm gonna have to do some hood videos. I gotta wrap this up, y'all. I gotta come back up through here. Oh, she's saying hi to me. <laughs> no, I can't, I can't, I can't. I don't know if I know her or not. I'm sorry. I'm gonna say hi real quick, but I don't know her. Let me just say hi real quick. All right. What's up? What's up? Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Uh, who are you? Uh, I'm a YouTuber. I'm actually recording right now, so I gotta let you know. Well, I real, real quick before you. Put, I, got, quick I thought before you knew me. I thought you knew me. Though. Real quick before you. Put off That's you recording though, bro. No, I ain't got it on me right now. But you have a beautiful day, though, all right? Thank you, all right. So that, that's what it's about. I understood that they knew me. So like, that's what it's about. It's just asking for some money. I ain't got it right now. I don't have any cash. I feel you guys like from now on, I'm not carrying any cash on me. What the crap so ever. Okay. I'm not carrying any cash on me. What the crap so ever. Because um, I'm afraid of getting wrong. But see, that's what it was. Like, I don't know if she knew me. I, I gave her the dignity of whatever, but I don't have it on me. I don't. I really don't. My wallet is empty. Because I figured one day somebody's gonna try to rob me because I'm always in these dangerous neighborhoods and they're gonna get as little as possible out of me. You know what I mean? Like, I already I already got that down. I don't know what neighborhood this is off of Myrtle. I think we're in Springfield. This looks real hood out here. It's nice though, it's pretty. It's got character, you know, that's the thing. It's a beautiful neighborhood, look at these houses. Um, and of course, I'm sure that there could have, you know, I, I I had to ask her if she knew me because I don't know if she knows me. Like she might know my YouTube channel, and then she might think I'm a jerk for not saying hi. But you know, of course that could turn into something else. Of course, you don't know what people are actually doing on the street. So this is definitely hot out here. It's all type of business out here, y'all. <laughs> man, Jacksonville ain't playing. Jacks ain't playing, man. It's hood out here, and as the title suggests. It's real out here. But it's still great. Every city's got hoods. You know what I mean? But Jacksonville hoods are really like this apartment complex caught me the crap off guard. This is an apartment complex right here. Um, I gotta go. I'm just gonna blow a stop sign. I'm gonna stop here. Anymore. Okay. So this little neighborhood's got activity going on. I told her, like, I'm a YouTuber, whatever. You know, it's just, just let her know. But like I've I've had this happen more than once. A woman flag you down. The, the, you know, she's looking hard. Okay, so this neighborhood's hungry right here. This this is like there's activity out here. People are looking at you like they're gonna they're gonna eat you or something, man. I love Jacksonville. This is hood. This is actually hotter than my creep, if you ask me. What street are we on, bro? This is hot out here, Kings. This is hot out here, bro. Yeah, I go on Moncrief and nobody bothers you. Or Nobody's trying to like hustle. There's a hustle going on out here. This is like big city stuff, like New York City stuff. One of the things that's really angered me about Jackson was on every last one of these videos, somebody has to go on and say, oh, you're racing, man. Get out of here. I am seriously considering anybody. There's a walking cop right there. Seems like it cleared this little district. <laughs> a cop walking through here and everybody's gone. I'm gonna tell you something about Jacksonville. I love doing videos here, but on every single video, there's always somebody accusing me of being a rapper. Bro, I am, and I wanna ask my subscribers what they think. My real loyal subscribers, who, or by the way, 
I think our channel is about one third each way, about one third W, one third B, one third H. So we have everybody on our channel and I love every last one of you. I don't care if you're a redneck out in the sticks, somebody up in the hood, Spanish, old, young. I love everybody. If you are a brave and human soul, uh, we have a lot of subscribers who are autistic. I love every last one of you guys. I don't care if you're, oh, if you're watching from prison. We have people that watch our videos from prison because they miss being out on the street. So they watch our videos like to kind of, like they smuggle a phone into prison and then they watch our videos from prison because they miss being out on the streets. You know, so we have people watching from prison. We have people watching from the hood, from the small towns in the middle of nowhere. We got people watching everywhere. We have undercover police officers who probably watch our videos too, trying to see if we're up to anything bad. So shout outs to everybody who watches our channel. I love every last one of you guys. I love everybody. Do you love me? I love you. But I'm at the point when these people who are not subscribed to our channel don't comment. I'm, I don't know who they are. I've never seen them on my channel. And they're accusing me of being the R. I feel like just delete. Should we just do that? Because I'm, I'm wasting five hours a month replying to these people with a common sense reply, a logical, reasonable explanation. But they just want to they want to label you. They don't care about. I don't even know what hood I'm in. This is off of Canal, and this looks hood up in here too. Like it looks hot back in here. Jacksonville got hoods in all directions, man. I, I'm on a, I could spend a month in this city. Let me see if there's an exit out of here. Is there an exit here? Because I don't want to drive. It's a dead end. Okay, we're not going to go down this dead end. This dead end has some activity. I'm going to do it. This is dangerous, but I'm going to come down. It's a dead end road. Oh, no, it's not. It's a dead end. Let me just pull it up right here. There's activity out here for real. I'm sure I'm catching their attention by doing this. But, uh, man, Jacksonville has so many hoods. You can't even begin to cover this city. And I love it. Love it. But anyways, and my little subscribers, my good people, I love every last one of you, regardless of where your background is. Every last one, from a small town country person to a big city person, from the darkest one of you to the lightest skin colored one of you, I love all of you. You're here, and thanks to your love and support, I'm able to do what I'm doing, which is something incredible. I owe it all to you guys, every last one of you. When somebody comes to my channel who's never commented before, it's just this is their first exposure to my channel. And the first thing they want to do is call me that. Oh, look at that bubble. They pimp him. I think I'm going to go follow the bubble. <laughs> I'm not supposed to do that. I was supposed to, I was supposed to just keep going to the, to the west. But when I see a bubble shape, I'm like, I have to see more of this. I love everybody. I love everything. But when somebody comes to my channel and the first thing they do is accuse me of being ARC, I'm just like, is it even, because I always give them a very nice reply. I mean, like, I'll write a paragraph explaining to them how that's not the case. Is it even worth trying to explain to these people this crap? Is it even worth, is it even worth it, you know? And I did a top 10 worst neighborhoods in Jacksonville video. And let me tell you, what, this, whatever the neighborhood we're in now, I'm sure it wasn't on the list. And it probably could have been. Jacksonville was a massive city of over 100 neighborhoods. I could probably remake that video. And I'm gonna, I'm going to. And it's going to be remade based off of the comments of that video. So I'll make a video that I know is not 100% accurate. But the locals will tell me this, that, that. When I see somebody mention Brentwood Village 20 times, I'm like, okay. Next time we go to Jacksonville, we gotta go to Brentwood Village. We'll go there, we'll see it, and then we'll make another top 10 list that's updated. We do it all the time. Every time we do a version of it, it's better than the last. But let me tell you, man, there's so many hoods in the Jacksonville. The city has about 100 neighborhoods. And uh, within those neighborhoods, there's like little communities. I don't know how it works, but it's like, or right, no, it's neighborhoods within communities. It's all around. Guys, there it is, Jacksonville, Florida, one of my favorite cities in the country to explore. Massive city. Uh, but I'm at the point where really when I see those comments, I'm just I want to hear your thoughts and opinions. If you're my subscriber, what should we do? Should we try to explain it to them? Because I feel like they're just going around almost trying to, you know, just label people like that. Is it even worth my time? I think I'm gonna just start deleting them. I'm not even gonna reply to them anymore because I replied to hundreds of them and they never come back with an with a reply. They just say that and then you try to explain it to them and they don't want to hear it. It's just a waste of time, right? Let me know what you think. Check it out.